In this video, we'll talk about celiac disease, which is an immune reaction to eat gluten-rich food. In celiac disease, eating gluten-rich food such as bread or wheat product can trigger your immune response, especially in your small intestine, and you feel that burn inside your belly. Let's talk about the symptoms. Symptoms include anemia, diarrhea, gas, bloating, abdominal pain, in extreme cases, weight loss. More rare symptoms include fatigue, tiredness, joint pain, itchy or blistery skin, mouth sores, etc. Over time, the lining of the intestine gets eroded in case of celiac disease and that causes many problems such as that prevents the absorption of vitamin B12 and vitamin B9 from the diet. This is a prime cause of anemia because both these vitamins are associated with RBC maturation. So vitamin B9 or folic acid is especially important for RBC maturation. When that is malabsorbed, there is problem regarding RBC production. Let's talk about the immunology of the celiac disease. So the major problem in the celiac disease is the gluten. Now gluten has two components gliadin and glutenin. Gliadin is the main culprit here. Gliadin is pretty much, res uh, pretty much resistant to many digestive enzymes. So in the small intestine, you can see a portion of the small intestine here. Gliadin gets assembled with the secretory IgA. Generally, this immune complex is destined to be distracted. But in rare occasions in celiac disease, this complex is actually binding to transferrin receptor which is otherwise important for iron absorption or iron metabolism. Now after it binds to transferrin, it gets transcytosed inside the uh, cells and get released in the other side known as lamina propria. Gliadin gets further converted to tissue transaminase and it becomes deaminated gliadin. Deaminated gliadin gets engulfed by resident macrophages. Now it can present this deaminated gliadin on top of class 2 MHC molecules. In this case there is a specific variant of MHC2 which is HLA-DQ8 and HLA-DQ2. Now the macrophages leads to activation of T cells which can further secrete inflammatory cytokine bringing up the inflammation in your intestine. Also it can activate B cells which eventually get differentiated into plasma cells. These plasma cells secrete several antibody which brings out the immune response against your intestinal wall. And these antibodies include anti-tissue transglutaminase 2 antibody or TG2 antibody which is also a biomarker for diagnosing this disease. Anti-deaminated gliadin peptides are also present and anti-endomycial antibody is present in this disease as well. Let's talk about the diagnosis. As mentioned earlier, you can have serological diagnosis by looking at the uh, presence of specific TG2 antibody in the blood sample. Also, there could be genetic testing for HLA-DQ2 and HLA-DQ8, which is more expensive in nature. Anyway, the treatment of celiac disease include restriction in terms of diet. So if you have celiac disease and if you are diagnosed with celiac disease, you should avoid gluten rich substances and only dietary modification can give you some uh, relief. So if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can get more notes, flashcards in my Facebook channel and also in Instagram. All the links are present in the description. If you want to support our channel, click on the thanks, super thanks option. You can pay via Paytm, pay PayPal and UPI. See you in next video.